stunner out of Wallingford tonight. A man there accused of faking brain cancer to get money out of his family and friends and even from people hundreds of miles away. Hi, everybody. Glad you're here tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg. Ann Craig is off. Police say there were fundraisers and cast donations for him because they thought he had cancer, but that was not the case. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live in the studio with the very latest on this strange case. Josh. And in Darren, the accused is facing charges that include larceny and larceny by defrauding a public community. Ironic considering the community had rallied around him. For example, his high school alma mater in Wallingford held a fundraiser in his honor after people there got wind. He was claiming to have been diagnosed with cancer. It makes people have to wonder, well, you know, what's true, what's not true. And it's just, it makes it very hard for those who really, really need the help. Neighbors of 29-year-old Tyler William Tomer of Wallingford are angry after learning he'd been pretending to be afflicted with terminal brain cancer. If he did it, he ought to uh, face whatever he should get. Tomer is accused of using an illness he didn't have to defraud well-intentioned donors out of more than $22,000. Also, he could line his own pockets. Wallingford police say they were tipped off that Tomer was making up being sick after one of his relatives raised their suspicions to them. He played it up very well. He would attend, uh, go down to Sloan Kettering. He'd bring people with him. Uh, he'd pretend to go in for an appointment and it just never had an appointment. Tomer would get the money through events like this pasta dinner, advertised as being held at Moran Middle School in Wallingford last spring. The description pulls at one's heartstrings. The dinner sold as a way to help in Tomer's fight after learning, quote, his cancer has spread throughout his body, end quote. Police say a charity golf tournament was even held at Lyman Orchards in Middlefield. More than $10,000 was raised at that fundraiser alone. The investigation into Tomer's alleged actions spanned other states. Here's a Facebook event still online held for Tomer at a bar in Kansas City, Missouri. He did some damage to a lot of people. News 8 stopped by Tomer's home to see if someone was around who could speak on his behalf. But after we knocked... No one came to the door. We could, however, hear someone attempting to communicate through the entryway. Anything you want to say? Police say one way that Tomer would appear sick was he would lose weight and shave his head. Now, we reached out to a woman who also had the same last name, Tomer, who was listed as a contact for one of the fundraisers held. All she would say was that she asked we respect her family and give them privacy during this time. For now, we're live in studio, Josh Shanglum, News 8.